Cervical disc replacement is one of the newest motion preservation technologies that is now FDA approved for up to two levels. So if two discs in your neck are bad, we can now replace them with an artificial disc. This works well for younger patients with isolated disc herniations or patients younger than 55 with two levels of degenerative disc disease. Older patients than 55 may have severe arthritis in the joints of their neck. And because this maintains the motion in your neck, it's going to put extra pressure on those joints and your neck pain may continue, which would make you not a candidate for this particular surgery. The reason for this surgery is so that you don't have degeneration at the level above the surgery. With cervical fusions, the disc above and below the fusion have to work a lot harder afterwards, and their tendency to degenerate in the next 5, 10, 15 years is much higher. With the disc replacement, we're hoping to prolong the normal effects of the surgery and for the aging process. The cervical and lumbar disc replacement are made of the exact same material that total knees and total hips are made of. Very few, if rare, do patients have any rejection to the metal that's in it or the plastic that's part of the motion mechanism. Cervical disc replacements can be done as an outpatient procedure. This cuts down on your need to stay in the hospital for potential complications such as infection. It allows you to go home and recover in your own environment and in a comfortable bed. Cervical disc replacement is becoming more popular across the nation, but you have to have a physician who's been trained in these techniques. I am luckily one of those physicians who's had that extensive training for cervical disc replacement.